Okay, so this is an example that we tried in class. Uh, I'm going to do so again uh, with the hopes that I'll be able to explain the math a little bit more and uh, the units a little bit more. Okay, so let's try this out. Um, let's see what we're given first. Always start with the beginning. Uh, if you noticed, I already copied some of the given that we'll need from previous slides like this table right here it has both the charges which we'll need and the masses we're not going to actually need the neutron one and these constants okay gravitational constant and the k constant and what we're looking for are these things let's try to do the entire problem so you have the time uh, we'll be looking for in a we're looking for the electric or what is known as a columbic force uh, gravitational force according to Newton's universal law of gravitation and the ratio of the two which one's bigger which one's not okay which one's smaller and we're going to find out what is the acceleration due to each of these forces let's call that AE and AG and you can kinda guess as we'll go along just pretty much the the language that we'll use here which one is humongous and which one is smaller like discussed in class okay formulas yeah let's write that down somewhere on the next slide okay electric force So remember, these formulas are a bit similar, but they're also not. Uh, it has absolute values on the charges because the direction uh, is taken beforehand. We'll do that in another example. The gravitational, capital G, G man, also has R squared. Uh, I actually forgot to write something here. Take note that R in this case is actually not the dis uh, is not the radius, but in this case is the distance between the two charges. Okay. Like for example, if I have an electron here, and the proton actually is much bigger in size. R is the distance between them, and since they're negative. The force between them is attractive. Okay? Just like gravity. So let's try this out. I'm going to use uh, blue for this one. So let's write all the numbers out. The constants, which I had up above earlier. I just remember the value in the units because this is not my first take. And the size of the charges. Now, since it's absolute value, um, just need to write the number. And actually, I'm going to take a little shortcut. And since the charge of the electron and the proton are the same, Let's write it like that. And the 5.3 metered squared as well. Okay. So take note if we actually square that, you can already see how the that cancels out, hopefully, but it's gone now. No takesies, backsies. Okay. And that would actually result to but remember the units already cancelled out. Okay? And there you can see how the meters are canceled. 
because take note we're trying to find something uh value for force so newtons is the unit for force so that means we're on the right track okay and then calculate all the numbers okay uh i cut myself off there a little bit um but the answer for this one is sticking with the significant figures given to us which was two sig figs the 5.3 is times 10 to the negative 8. it's pretty small but you'll see in a little bit that it's actually not that bad how does this compare to the gravitational force so let's write this down memorizing the units but you do not have to do and here I'm going to actually use my uh, electron as my m1 now does the order matter in this case you tell me can't really reply because you're watching a video um, and I'm actually going to copy the number that we have down there and just put it Oops. And you should be able to see here how that cancels out, and so does the kilograms. And let's see what this equals out to. And that should give you, check out this number. Okay, once again, only the units of Newton is left behind because we're looking for force. In this case, this is the, oops. Gravitational force and this is the electric. Getting all my colors mixed up. to box my answers now from here which one is bigger and which one is smaller what do you think once I get the right color I'll let you know Okay, by looking at the number on the orders of magnitude, take note that the bigger the number and negative, then there we go. Smaller is a gravitational force and bigger, as you could probably tell, is the electric force. But how do you figure that out? Well, let me tell you. You find the ratio of one to the other if I get a really small number here, then I'll, it'll be that the gravitational force is bigger. If I get a really big number, that means the electric force is bigger. Just copying my answers, really. Both of them are in terms of units or the same units rather that cancel out because we're just looking for a ratio and what number does that give us okay this gives us a number of a whopping 39 now if that you had that much money in the world uh, people couldn't spend it all in their entire lifetimes, I believe. Yeah, something close to Avogadro's number. Like that. Okay, but we're not done yet. No. Good old Newton's second law of motion. Now, this being the net force, uh, but in this case we only have one force, so I just need to split this up into two different ways. 
Okay. So acceleration caused by the mass of an electron. What's it doing? I don't want that. And the acceleration caused on an electron by the force due to gravity. Okay, let's see how this works out. Now let's try this one. So if I play around with that formula, get that AE, okay, trying to remember what I had up above. It was 8.2, that's right. Newtons over uh, 9.11. Okay, and remember that Newtons is equivalent to kilogram meters per second squared, and that cancels out. So, what is the acceleration? Okay, so the acceleration on an electron due to the electric force is at several times at several hundred million thousand times a g-force uh, in other words it's simply large so you can kind of guess what's going to happen over here uh, same thing so we should do the gravity same mass of the electron, but here we have I'm just going to spell out the it's for the Newtons okay, so that cancels out uh, for the units of acceleration, and we get what we get is okay so let me highlight that box your answer and sure enough where the acceleration is uh, where the net force is large so is the acceleration and where the net force is small, so is the acceleration. So I will dub the small. Okay, so electric forces or columbic forces are generally way, way greater than gravitational force. Uh, I had one story of how a student was convinced that the planets were held together by uh, electromagnets, but that will all save for another day. And we will stop right here.